I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 150 of Bird Squawk. Welcome to the Super Bowl episode, Whoa, people, of baby. Bird Squawk. As you can see, we have a new friend in the background. Jalen Hurts with a nice cutout. Number one. <laughs> but we're talking about a Super Bowl, baby. We got a Super Bowl episode of Bird Squawk tonight. And it's crazy. I We, we got a lot to talk about. Like I said, last week was more of the celebration. Now we talk X's and O's. We talk about matchups. We talk about kind of where we're at. And I guess we'll get a vibe check right off the bat. Initially, I was a little stressed out initially. But as closer and closer we get, the more confident I get in this team. I, I, I like what they were saying on Monday. I like where their head's at. They seem focused. The Chiefs seem banged up a little bit. There's still going to be a tough fight. But... Every day we get closer, I get more antsy, but I get more confident in this team. I'm kind of feeling the same way. I mean, I, I need these guys to win. Trust me. I've been talking so much smack this week <laughs> at work. I don't know if I can go back to work if they don't win. Uh, I need them to come through. But first off, can we just tell the Niners to just move on? No, I know. That's my, like, Man, let's talk about it. Like, that's my, on. that's my favorite thing. Keep it. Keep, Keep chatting, man. It's just more stuff we can keep pinning up up on the board. Because as I mean, much as I think people are giving them their flowers, I think as many people as giving them their flowers are giving them crap and disrespecting uh, them and saying that they're fluky and all that. Dude, people have been saying we're getting exposed all year. It's the Super Bowl, and we yeah. still haven't been exposed. So, I mean, Debo comes on first take today. I'm watching, and he says, yeah. you know, the way to the way to beat the Eagles, the way to attack the Eagles is go at their back end. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, uh, you know, get over it. You yeah. guys lost. Yeah. But like my like my man's saying though, everybody has doubted us all season. Keep, all season. Keep talking, man. This you is know? gonna fuel these guys more. So I mean, easy, as much as easy schedule. Hey, let's look at the Chiefs' schedule. I mean. Yeah. I mean, as Come much on. as it irks me that they're still complaining, keep talking because you're just going to be proven wrong, hopefully, on Sunday. I think they have become neck and neck now with the Cowboys in my book. I am just sick of them. I'm like, let's just win so we can just... I'm keeping receipts of all those fight Niner fans, you know, because it's like, get over it. You lost. Yeah, all right. All right, screw them. We're on to the Super Bowl, exactly. baby. We got a Chiefs game to talk about, but yeah, I mean, we talk, we we watched some of the games last week. We watched the AFC Championship game, and we watched the game that they almost lost to the Texans last week a little bit to kind of like scout them out a little bit. But as much as we are, as much as they're known for being this potent offense that they're gonna strike quickly, whatever. In both those games, they were very methodical, very slow drives, a lot of dink and dunk and that's kind of what I expect from them. do I expect them to take some shots yeah but wide re wide receiver position wise they're kind of banged up I mean they're not going to have Hardman and then I mean I'm not really scared of like Baz uh, uh about as Scantling is whatever Juju Smith-Schuster is whatever Kadarius Tony's whatever yeah, I mean the only guy that scares me is Kelsey yep Kelsey's gonna get his you yep. know but hey let's take him let's give him his right yeah and and let's make Let's make these other guys beat us, right? Yeah. If they beat us, they beat us. But we're gonna we're gonna take him away, mm -hmm. and Valdez Scantling or you yeah. know whoever else they got there yeah. is gonna have to beat us. And I don't think they can. Yeah, I mean that's kind of where I'm at. I mean I am very confident in this offense to put up points. They're putting up points against everybody they play this year, so I'm not really worried about that side of the football because I know they're gonna get theirs. It's mostly the defense. And it's not that I'm scared that the defense can't make stops. It's just that's the part that I need to see a couple drives into the game to see kind of where they're at. If it's going to be the first drive and you're like, oh, boy, this might be a little iffy. But I think that's the more of the side I need to see the initial couple drives to get a good feel because I think the offense is going to do their thing like they have all year. And at the end of the day, I think the defense is too. They're going to get to Mahomes. They are. I mean, I think they're going to try and get the ball out of Mahomes' hands quick. I don't really think he's going to take a lot of shots excuse me but um it, and yeah, I mean, Andy, Andy he's gonna do the screens yeah. he's gonna do to neutralize that pass rush yeah he's gonna do the screens he's he's great at the screens I yep. mean we saw this dude for 14 years I yep. mean we know he knows how to screen but we also saw this dude for 14 years in big games and come up short yeah come I mean up small 
that's the thing. So, I mean, they're going to do their things. They're going to have their wrinkles that you're going to go, ah, like, that's a tough play, like, or whatever. They're going to get some chunk plays here and there. The big thing is eliminating those chunk plays. If we all remember the last Super Bowl, it was chunk play after chunk play. That was the big, like, difference maker. And you got to, it's going to be a lot more slow, methodical. I, the main thing for me is the birds need to play the way they've been playing all year. They can't try and play to the Chiefs, like, game because they want to do that. They need to play how they've got here, keep doing their thing, and I do, like I said, I do feel confident more and more as we get closer and closer. Do I get more antsy? Yes. I but mean, I, I'm anxious. I, yeah. I get that anxiety of going course. out. It's I'm ready for that thing to go. I, I feel confident. You know, I, I don't feel overconfident, but I, I feel confident. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like we talked about all season, by, by about third or fourth game of the season, we said felt like and feels like this team is on a mission. Yeah, I mean, they they really are. Like I said, I mentioned it a little earlier. I mean, Monday, that opening night, is kind of your last day to kind of, like, talk. Like, the, you have other meetings. You have other availabil av availability with the media. But that's mostly the grand stage. And people can get hung up in that event and kind of say things that they regret. And I think everyone said the right things. And then they sounded like they we're just there doing that because they had to but are focused on the game ready to go i really have we've said it all year with the leadership on this team from top to bottom from saucy from jalen from the vets on this team like kelsey and fledge they know that they're not done yet they got to keep winning one more and i believe they're gonna do it yeah and i mean jalen came right out i mean and they're quoting him on his sayings you know yeah keep the main thing the main thing yeah, I mean, that's what I took away from Monday, too. The, these Jalenisms or Hertzisms, whatever you want to say. I used to call them Sabinisms because that's where he got, like, brainwashed at. Yeah, the, but the rat poison. <laughs> Stay away from the rat poison. The right? Jalenisms, they're catching on. People are, other teammates are saying it. People are kind of getting that mindset. And that, that spreads, man. That spreads. Yeah, and you really feel like like these guys are just not happy with just getting there, right? Yeah. They, they, they didn't... They didn't get there, and now, like, they're going, woo, you know. I think the big thing, you know, is that I I don't remember. I've been, like, an Eagles fan forever, right? I don't remember ever out of the other Super Bowls we're going in as the favorite. I think that's the kind of thing that, that has a little people, a little bit yeah. uneasy. Because we're not yeah. used to being the favorite. Last Super Bowl, we were playing with house money. We weren't supposed to be there. We had a backup quarterback. Got in a shootout, and we ended up beating the evil empire. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of something I thought about today, just in my whole lifetime as a Philly sports fan. I, I, I think of one championship that any sports team has been in in my lifetime that we were the favorites, and it was the 08 Phils. They probably were favored against the uh, Rays. But the Flyers against the Blackhawks underdogs, the Phillies this year, the Union this year, the Birds in 2017, um... Then the Phils the following year against the Yanks. It just feels like we're we're so used to playing that card. We love playing that card. And that's what I said. I think it is weird for us to kind of accept that we are the favorites. But as much as we are the favorites, they're still getting disrespected. They're still getting told that, eh, well, Jalen, because freaking Sims can't get over oh, Jalen being good, man. Dude, just this dude cannot get, get over, over it. it. So that's God. what I mean. It's stuff like that, that like they are the favorites and I think yeah. people do think so. I mean, but I think that's the crazy thing too, right? Like like Jalen has taken us to the Super Bowl yeah. in his second year. As a starter. As yeah. a starter. And they're still blowing smoke at Dak. They're still, yeah. you know, he's not as good as Dak. He's not as good as Burrow. He's not as good as Herb Herbert. I mean, come on, man. This dude, when are we going to give him his due? And I feel like he's going to go out there. And and one of his quotes is, if you don't know, you going to know, right? Yeah. So I think Sunday, you know, he's going to go out there along with the rest of these guys, and they're on a mission to finish this thing off. And and we talked about this many times this season. There is a good mix of veterans that have been there and know what this week is about mm -hmm. and are telling these guys, this is what we got to do. We got to stay focused. We got to take care of business. And I, I definitely look for these guys to come out 
firing on all cylinders. I'm yeah, thinking. I mean, I get it's the Super Bowl. You're going to have a little bit of nerves. But I don't, as much as it's like a younger team, I don't see them really getting rattled from the moment. The the guys that are young, they've yeah, been mean, in these yeah, games. I like mean, Devontae Devontae's, said. Yeah, he, I've been playing been, these games all my life. Yeah. So, I mean, and then Jalen, like the guy, the big guys that haven't been on this stage in the NFL, they've been on the stage in college and high school. They, they know what it means to play a big game. I know the Super Bowl. Compare, doesn't compare to anything else, but I, that's the main thing. I, I know they don't have the experience compared to the Chiefs side, but I do. I don't doubt them being ready for the occasion and not being kind of blown away from the occasion. The only thing is, is Saucy not being too Dougie. I get you gotta be. You're gonna have to be a little aggressive. It's the Super Bowl, but I could see him maybe getting carried away if it gets into a tight situation. Not that I'm doubting Saucy. Well, I, I really feel it's going to come down to whatever that situation is. I mean, he's going to count on his guys. He knows what they can do. Um, and, he, and he's going to give them that little bit of a leeway if, if he feels like, hey, we got to go for this. No, I you mean, know? I... The... But like we talked last week, I mean, you know, in a celebration mode, you got to look for Reed to pull out some crazy stuff like yeah. ring around the Rosie and yeah. all that other corny stuff that they, they do, you know... They're going to pull something out. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just, I I don't feel like, like you said, this offense can't score on the Chiefs. Yeah. And, you know, I saw some other thing that this wily guy on the line who's going up against Reddick has given up the most sacks all well, season. Well, that, that's the type of I things mean, I'm talking about. Like, great. Like, Chris Jones... Um, other guys on their line, they're having great years. Don't get me wrong. But to me, I write them off right away because we've been handling these types of guys all year. Thibodeau in the playoffs and Dexter Lawrence in the playoffs and Bosa in the playoffs. These guys have been, if Micah Parsons, these guys have been invisible when they play us all year. So great. These guys can are having great seasons. But I'm not scared of those guys because I know our line's going to like shut them down. That's the thing. Like Our D-line is going to get home. Like I know the O-line's going to have their play their game, be great. The D-line's going to get home. It's just going to be mostly, they're going to try and get Mahomes the ball out of his hand quick. He's still banged up. I know he's probably feeling a little better, but re, uh, Andy hinted at it that he is still a little iffy. But Yeah, and I, I was watching a, a thing on, on Insta with uh, Chris Long, and he said, high ankle sprain. He said, you're going to shoot that up. You're going to take some painkillers. But when you're, when you're cutting, when you're stopping, yeah. that thing is still going to hurt. It's yeah. it's it's gonna be tender. It's gonna hurt, and and we just gotta we just gotta attack this dude. Yeah, and and keep him in the pocket, mm -hmm. and and let him try to be Superman. Right? Yeah, he's gonna have to be Superman to beat us. That's yeah, I, I mean, think. I'm looking at a very similar kind of script to the Super Bowl they lost to the Bucks. The defense was too much. They were shorthanded. They were beat up. And Mahomes looked a little iffy at times in that game because the defense for the Buccaneers was so good and they were a little banged up. Not I, that they're I, in the exact same situation, but to me, I could see that I, being what it could be. I think like you said, we got to get to him early. We got to get in his head early, knock him around a little bit, and, and let him know, hey, it's going to be a long day. You better you better be getting this ball out of your hand yeah. quick. And and we got to be ready for the screens and shut that down early. You yeah. know, if if it if they're letting you come, it's a screen, right? You yeah. Got, our D line's got to be ready to read that stuff. Yeah, I mean that's the main thing. That's like I said, uh, it's gonna. I I feel good about the offense. I really don't have a doubt about them. It's mostly not that I have a doubt in the defense. It's mostly just gonna see how they settle into the game. Settle. I see how they get in, and if they're looking good, I mean I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now, even without really. Seeing it, but I'm ready for Sunday at six thirty. I'm ready for it to get going. I'm ready for kickoff and ready to get uh, this thing rolling. This has been the longest week ever. Yeah. I mean, like this Sunday cannot get here fast enough. But then, just the whole angst of the game, you know. Yeah. I, God, I want this. I want this win so bad. Yeah, I mean, we all, we all want it so bad, and it, it's one of the. It's just a fun team, man. It's a fun team again. You want it to end the way you want it to end. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a great season, mm -hmm. and this will just be the topper. Yeah, you know, if if we lose, it will be disappointing. Yeah, no, of course it will. It's it's the Super Bowl, and it they are on paper they are the better team, and they are 
healthy compared to them and i believe they are on a mission to win this thing on sunday we just have to see how it plays out yeah it definitely feels like we've talked all season that they're they're on a mission they're they're you know i i can't believe we are sitting here yeah i can't believe we're making a super bowl episode, we're sitting here talking about yeah. the eagles in the super bowl yeah so Believe it, people. Believe we're the team. Believe we're the team we know we are. And we just have one more game to finish. And they can do this. Believe it, people. And we're going to be celebrating a second one of these bad boys. Hopefully Sunday night. And another one of these another bad, one of those boys, bad boys. Right? Hopefully. Hopefully. So Two is better than one. And then a giant party on Broad Street. So we'll see we'll try and we'll take videos of stuff uh during our like little watch party that we're gonna do uh with people but we'll take videos kind of get the vibe during stuff uh if you didn't see monday's video when we went down to the watch party a lot of fun check that out um but yeah people it's the super bowl get excited we're ready to go take a deep breath we're going to be good, baby. We're going to win the Super Bowl, hopefully, Sunday night. But thank you guys always for watching. We got it. Like I said, one more time. We got it, people. We got it. Thank you always for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fly goes fly. Go birds.